Well, hello everyone. Welcome to the Southern Boy Prepper Channel, Southwest Louisiana. Shout out to Survival Living. My friend, thank you very much for the shout out last night. Uh, I gained subscribers, which all the subscribers that did click the button. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I do plan on making a lot more videos. Um, but it's been like super busy here, out of breath. Yesterday, we planted potatoes in some containers. And today, we're going to plant some uh, Rama tomatoes. Uh, we planted some tomatoes yesterday. I have my beautiful daughter with me today in her earth shoes, as you can tell. She, uh, she grounds herself to the earth, <laughs> which is not a bad thing. You should try it sometimes, but for me, not today. We planted all these tomatoes yesterday. I have different varieties. I have discriminate and indiscriminate tomatoes. Um, we didn't get to put the tags yet, so now I'm a little too late for that. So we're just going to grow it and see what comes out the ground. And if we can make some tomatoes, we're going to eat them. I planted some tomatoes in the big garden. And they're not doing too great. I'm about to go cover them up with some dirt. Get, them a little, get the dirt a little bit higher off of it on them. And I planted another row of cucumbers. This area, like I had said before, is shaded. So we're going to see what's going to happen. Do have some rows left to plant. We're going to put some ramas over there on the end. I got some um, other plants that came up in the little boxes that I had inside the house. We planted these uh, a few days ago and they're the parsley and it's starting to grow. So that's great. It's way bigger than what it was before I started, which I'm pleased to see. Onion chives, we started those there. Uh, we got a lot of rain lately and it's kind of put a cap on everything so I'm having to till stuff up. Um, work it up. I worked these up yesterday and planted those. Um, let's see what those are. I can't remember. This is a whole row of cabbage. So I, The bad thing about it is cabbage grows big and it might take up my take up more than one row once they're if, if they grow like I expect them to. And this is where I worked up for the Rama tomatoes. I made a little, I got this little hoe here that I use like a furrower. And then I make the, um, I just made a row instead of digging because I'm gonna plant some seeds. And we're gonna see what's gonna happen. It's a test. And then once I finish planting these two that I worked up, I got some triple 13, so I lay that in the ground. Uh, tomatoes take a lot of fertilizer, so uh, I put, I don't think that's going to be too much for that. And uh, the bad thing is that we're under a tornado watch again today. So that's not a good thing. And uh, but we're going to put these seeds in the ground. If we, we miss the bad, bad weather, we just get the rain. The rain will be great for the garden. We'll get these seeds growing. So hang on, I'll show you something else. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna make me a little path for my seeds to grow in. To put my seeds in my fertilizer, just like I did the other row. You don't have to do this. But when I'm planting seeds, that's kind of like what I do. It makes it so much easier. Depending on what seed you're there. You know, put me a, some triple 13 fertilizer in the ground. So I'll put my seeds. Gotta get these in the ground because I got some from in the house, some other plants, some zucchini that I gotta get in the ground today. And uh, they're the ones that the big ones right there. And they're trying to reach for the sun, so it's time to it's time to put those in the ground as well later. All right, so we're gonna put about three seeds, each one, using my little 
makeshift cedar. Um, boy, this thing works well. I've seen this on a on a site, Web Cajun, and I'm sure if you guys are in the garden, you know who I'm talking about. Rest his soul. I believe he had passed away, but my gosh, he's got tons of videos. And that's what I got. I got a little PVC pipe like he had showed. It's a three-quarter inch. Put a three-quarter inch cap on it. I didn't glue it. I just capped it. I cut that little end. And when you're dealing with little small seeds like this, I mean real tiny seeds, this makes it so much easier. You can control how many seeds come out. So I'll put three. Every so often. Whatever. If it gets overcrowded, I'm not using any kind of you know, I'm pretty much 18 inches apart. If it's too overcrowded, once they start coming up, I'll, I'll prune, take some of them off if, if two or three plants grow. I've got the triple 13 in. I want to stick. Get this stick out of here. Stick these in here. I'm going to put these here. All right, so I'm going to grab my bucket of rainwater. All you guys know, the rainwater is so much better than chlorinated water from the garden. So, once you put the seeds in, the last step, got to give them some water so they can, so they can just water them in. I watered the whole row. Know we're gonna get rain today, but let me grab the bucket. I'm still gonna do it just in case we don't. We've got a lot of forecasts come out. No, we never get, we don't get the rain. Some people wonder and they worry about watering their garden. The plants are going to tell you when they need water. And the earth is going to, is going to take care of these plants. You know, just think of all these farmers that are, um, that are that have these 180 acre plots they're not out there watering and watering their garden so unless you're in a severe drought especially in this area um, you're not gonna it's gonna take care of itself but I do water uh, if it starts getting really dried up then I'll come out here and water but uh, don't water until you till you know you do like you can take your finger and if you push it in the ground, and you go all the way in the ground like that, see like I have my finger in the dirt, pull your finger up. And if there's, if dirt's sticking to your finger, that means there's enough water in the ground. You don't have to water. If it's so dry that you're not gonna have dirt and mud sticking to your finger, then, then you need water. Just a little tip for today. And what I do is I just cover them up. I don't pack them in. I just cover them. And let's see what happens. Hey, if it don't grow, it don't grow. It's just a seed, right? God always said that if you plant it, it'll grow. You're going to get out of it what you put into it. I just cover these things up. And this one's done. I'm going to make two little rows the same way. I'm gonna do this in the same way, and uh, that'll be my Rama tomatoes that I'm planting. My wife loves Rama, so I'm hoping that I can give her some good tomatoes this year. The birds are singing today, boy. They happy. I love the sound of birds. It's funny. I drive my tractor inside this garage I have where I park it. And one day I, one day I uh, seen this little bird fly by really fast. I said, look at him, he got stuck inside my garage. So the next day I seen it happen again. And I said, well, something's up. So I started looking around and I had a, uh, a pooper scooper leaning on the shelf. I went and looked at it and there's a nest in there and she had babies. So now I got birds inside a pooper scooper that I'm worried that will fall. But uh, it's been going on for a little while. Now they're out, they're flying around all over the place. 
I'm just a little sparrow. Oh, I think I'm gonna disturb him. I don't need to mess with him. Let him give birth, give life. All right. And then we're gonna cover them. I'm not gonna put a whole lot of water. Because if we get the rain that we get, I might be doing this for nothing. But I got plenty of seeds, so it doesn't work. We'll do it again. What's good about the south? We got a long growing season, so you have time to, if you, things mess up, don't grow. Stick it in the ground again. And I think I even planted fall plants this year too, just to see what happens. Kind of a big test. Because right now, we're living in a time that we need to be planting as much as you possibly can. Get food in the ground because we don't know what our future beholds. And uh, it's so hard to get food. It's so hard to get food from um, the stores lately with all of this stuff going on. So ensure yourself that you have food for your family. And if you have an abundance, which I expect I will, Help people out. That's what it's all about. Sharing. You know, all I'm doing is just, I chopped up the dirt back in here. I'm gonna level the top of them. Level. Built my row up a little bit more. I'm gonna do this a little at a time. Getting kind of low over here. My rope kind of got small right here, so eventually I'll get it built up. Doing good, Mark. Doing good. Probably doing extra. All right, well, I'll stick around for a little bit and show you something else. My daughter planted these from seeds. The boy, they trying to stand up looking for sun. These are all zucchini squash. I'm gonna get those in the ground. All the other ones, I'm gonna let them stay in there a little while. Um, but that's about all I'm gonna plant out this box. I think all the others, oh, we'll look. We'll see how, how the others go. Cause all of these are cantaloupe. And I got a lot of cantaloupe planted already, but that's okay. Let's get these in the ground. I'm make me a little hole right here. Put me a little bit of triple 13. Grab my specialty tool here. I won't go anywhere as I want one of these. Cause boy, these are hard to get out. If you don't have one, you can get them. They're real. They're uh, not too hard to find. All right. Get this bad boy in the ground. These little bitty pots, I don't recommend them because it makes it really hard to get these things out of them. I try to go as easy as I can, not to mess the roots up. Well, I'm planting a zucchini squash. And like I've said before, gardening is not something that I've done in a while. So I'm 
trying to learn again. And, you know, I may have a learning curve, but I'm working at it. All right. I'm going to do about this kind of, this, this, this. This is probably about 20 inches. 20, 20 inches. Triple 13. Here's the trick to try to get these out of these plants. Update on the large garden. My tomatoes ain't doing worth the hill of beans. I think I planted them in the wrong spot. I noticed that there's a lot of rock that was right here, so that's really messing everything up. I need to start getting through that. My tomatoes not doing too great. I'm about to mound them up and get, um, get the dirt higher on each plant. I'm gonna add some fertilizer and stick it in there because they're not they're not too healthy uh, but I do have carrots coming up <laughs> didn't think that was going to happen Ta my uh, bell peppers are growing I'll put some wire around those my banana peppers look good uh, we're going to cross over here I did put like a there's some more tomatoes Maybe a little fence for my cucumbers. They're starting to vine these. They've reached the fence. I kind of kept it above the dirt. You can see where the end of the fence is, where you can work the grass out once it gets there. Um, hopefully they'll all take to the vines. These are growing. These are a little bit bigger than what they were. And That cabbage, uh, it's not the right time for this, but they're still alive. I don't know what they're going to produce, but we'll see. And my okra. My corn. This is my corn here. Those are coming up out the ground since the last time. They get big. A whole row of them. Two rows of corn. And my purple hole peas. Are growing. Look like some didn't. I missed a step here because I ain't got a. That's gonna be okay though. I'm gonna have more than what I can ask for, I think. And my okra is growing. I plan. On, I think I'm gonna add some more rows here. But I didn't feel like messing with it today because with all the weather coming. I guess you can see that building's out of there. My daughter decided she didn't want that. She's going with a camper, so she got it picked up. They moved it out. Back there is a cane uh, bamboo field. Oh, where you see those big trees right here? That's nothing but bamboo. So that's pretty neat. Yeah, so we still... I'm about to go mill all of these, heal all of these uh, tomatoes, get some more dirt on them. Maybe I can save them. If not, that's okay. I planted tomatoes everywhere else. We plan on canning this year. And uh, that's something new for us. So any suggestions will greatly be appreciated. We're going to give that a try. I bought quite a bit of stuff for that. So I'm hoping that's going to do well. I'm going to have to thin some of this stuff out, man. They got like three plants in there. In each one. I might just let it go and see what happens, right? <clears throat> yeah, I'm excited. Onions are doing well. If you can remember when I planted them, they were a lot smaller. So boy, they coming up. 
chopped up quite of a row of onions. For us, at least, that's good. And then my radish that I just threw in the ground, just to, because there was a pile of dirt. And they're all coming up. All of these coming up. This is where that stump is, I told you. So I had to stop tilling right here. There's a stump in the ground, so I'm gonna build a scarecrow in the middle of my garden. That's another project. And I gotta get in here and start pulling some grass out of here. And one of the suggestions was I need to get some coverage over the areas like this in the middle of the road to keep this grass from growing. And I commented back, I do plan on doing that. I gotta figure out what to put down. Uh, but gosh, man, this is a long stretch to be laying stuff down. Um, I'll probably just use a cultivator and go over the rows and bust it up um, with my tractor to, um, and then work it as I go. I got to get all of this fertilizer that I dropped down under the earth, so I need to get on that. Look at the flowers on my cucumber. Nice. That's beautiful. And here are the potato totes. Now I'm worried because it's pouring, it's starting to rain. I've added some lime to it, put four inches of dirt. Put the potatoes in after the lime with the fertilizer, triple 13. And as they grow, when the tomato, when the potato plants get oh about four inches tall then I'll cover them with dirt again and then when they get four inches tall again I'll cover them with dirt again and I'm using topsoil and compost and I'll come back and fertilize them and um, when it gets to this level then I'll be done adding dirt and then I'll just let them grow and I should have a full 110 gallon pot of potatoes because as you add the dirt it gives them room to expand and grow more and get more potatoes so we're hoping that we're gonna get some and I got these at Tractor Supply and uh, they are Fortex and they're $59.99 a piece. We drill some holes in the bottom put them on cinder blocks and uh, we're gonna hope for the best and now we get rain. As I said, we're under a tornado watch and it is pouring down rain in here. Oh, I'm born. Uh, I think about 100 miles from our area, they're getting golf ball size hell. So after I end this video, I'm going to put the tractor in the barn and get that SUV under the roof. So. I don't lose the sunroof or get ding damage if the hail does come. I did want to walk you to the pond that I have while it's raining. Not raining that bad yet. So hold on one second. I start. I started cutting this area. I didn't get to catch. I probably got about four more acres. I need a bush hog before I cut with my zero turn. But this is a really neat area right here for someone to set up a cabin. This is where I would want to be. And it's, I have a little pond that hasn't been worked on yet. Well, I, I did cut some shrubbery away from it. When the landowners left this place, uh, they, it just got out of hand. And then when we got it, it's just too, it's so much stuff to do. And I just don't have a whole lot of time to get it done, but do I, I plan on getting it done. I want to get all of this shrubbery out get some of these trees cut make this look nice and set up a little area in this by the pond and you come around this side you can see what I'm talking about oh something just jumped in the water there is fish in here and it's deep <laughs> and one of my dogs Shelby you may have seen her in one of my other videos she loves this pond She'll come out here and just jump in it and swim to the middle of it. Grab a, a lily out of it 
and pull it back. So that's pretty cool to watch. But all those lilies, I gotta get that stuff out of there. So when I do get a chance, I will get it done, cause it's really neat. It's really nice and quiet. There is a highway that's close to us. It's not too, too loud. You might hear a truck or so coming down the road. But still, when there's no traffic, it's really peaceful. There's a lot of area here I'd like to till up. What'd you find? A lily. Yeah, a lily flower. It's a baby. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this video, guys. I wanna thank y'all again. Survival Living, thank you for everything you've done. Guys, if you don't know who Survival Living is, search him out. Um, and subscribe to his channel. He's got a lot of good content. He's a... Uh, I almost think of him as a friend. No, he's far away from me. But, um... He seems like family, so... Like and subscribe to his channel, because he's got a lot of good stuff to share. And I do too, I just gotta figure out how to do it. So bear with me, guys, and... Just don't run away um, until, oh, before I leave. This area in here used to be another garden area that Mr. Brown had. If you walk through these trees, you can see where there's a fence. He had a fence line. And all of this was, you see the fence, the old fence? I don't know if you can see it in the video. Come on, Miley, let's take a walk through the woods. Watch the fence. Watch where you walk to. And if you go to the back, and I really want to clean this area out, but man, the trees have taken over. Got a lot of cutting to do. But I'm gonna try to get back here. If I can get through the spider webs, oh my gosh. That's fun. So where's it at? So he used to have, that's the fence line right here. And this is where Mr. Brown would sit and take a break. The chair's still there. Which I thought was kind of cool. That's how old it is. He'd sit and take his break right here. And I wonder how many old 50 cent pieces and old silver dollars or whatever else fell out of his pockets while he, sit, he sat here. If I had a metal detector, I sure would be checking. Because that's where you need to look, places where people have sat. And then over here, I really can't even tell you where he had his garden. But this was all sectioned off. It was fenced off for a reason. But there is a reason why I said there was a garden here. Is because he had a... How are we going to get to that? He had a garden shed. <clears throat> yeah, guys, I'm sorry. Sorry that I didn't clean all this up for y'all, but it is what it is, right? Kind of like exploring. You go explore on your own property, that's really cool. So, he had something set up here. I think maybe this might have been his garden. He had some walls set up. His old rake, bucket. We found a lot of potting plants. His old shed, which is really cool. Um, let me get you here. Ah. This is an old shed. It's falling down, roof's down. Probably got 30 snakes in there. But you can see how he had, he had, there was an old tiller in here. So we pulled that out. That's, it, it got junk. Somebody wanted some junk metal. So I said, whatever you can find, get it. So they've already done taking that. Um, but this was, you can even see where he had some of this stuff hung. He, I think he had a lawnmower in here too. Um, but he had a lot of planting buckets, which we've already pulled those out. This is an old pot. <laughs> Very cool. Yeah, you come to my property, there's a lot of areas on my property that just, there's stuff everywhere. There's no telling what you find. Oh, let's see if we can get out of here. Get out the other way. What'd you find? Huh? A grill? <laughs> That's pretty cool. 
All right, let's go. Watch where you walk. I don't know if we can go this way. We're going to try. You see this right here? Yeah. Watch your feet. There's some more. We're, come out. We're coming out on the other side. You see how it's all kind of... Man, I got a mess to clean up. It's old metal sawhorse. And then we're out. Oh, there's another little cut. Now this area was where I wanted to cut back a little bit, but then I wanted, it's got a lot of shade, and this is where I want to put a chicken coop and raise chickens here. Um, because it's out the way, but I need to cut this big bush down here. Really do. And then when you go into here, I don't even want to bring y'all in here because there's junk all over. Uh, he kept everything. Yeah, so we can go around. I was going to end this video, but the rain lightened up, so why not take a walk? This is a burn pile that I have. It seems not to want to stop raining, but now it's going to end up turning into a compost pile if I don't do something with it. We can burn here too, so there's no problem with burning it. It's just never had time to do it. You go back here, there is a lot of junk. Not my junk, but there's a lot of junk. That's the old barn. At least the roof is good on the top. He did have a barn way back here, but uh, it burnt down. And these two are old sheds. These need to really come down. But I did think about maybe this is, here's a thought. Nah, I think it's about to fall down. That's another old shed. There were so many buildings here on this property. Not even funny. And this is a homemade cultivator. I would call it. It's got some spikes around on it. You're going to hook up to a... Heck, I can hang that on my side by side. Or try to figure out some kind of way to use it. Yeah. That might be kind of cool. Alright guys. Well, I'm a... That's a kind of a little journey through my property of all the places I didn't want you to see because it's so nasty. But at least you got to tour the woods. And, uh... Before it starts raining, the, the actually the barn was back here, past that heavy brush there is a cement slab. So you know my thoughts are I want to do something with it, but will I ever get to? I'll check this out. We can use this. How cool! We can use this for garden. All right, utilize what you find, right? How cool is that? We're going to have to pull that out. When I tell you I've been here for five years and haven't really walked this property much, I'm telling you the truth. And back here, where we're standing now, you see where my garden is over here. You can see it past that fence. There's a fence line here. This is where he kept his chickens. So if I... Don't have to have a. I have fence. It's it's hanging. So I just gotta put fence where there's not where it's been knocked down. This was a chicken coop back here, and that building's about to fall down. It became a storage area. It looks like there's all kinds of stuff in there. We found all kinds of neat. Let me see. Walk back here. Old cast iron sinks tank yeah there's a lot of stuff in there I'm not going in there but that's where he did have chicken coop and then he did have something here hanging for fences so I really like to figure out what I could do with it if y'all can help guys I appreciate it what you think y'all would do with it tear it down that's what I thought 
But should I vine something on it? Maybe that what? Maybe that's what it was. What is it? This whole thing, this fence. I'm not it? sure if it's a cage, an old cage, or what. What, what it was for? Thing. It looks like. No. And then there's an old car. They got, they got T-posts all the way around. That's pretty cool. So we found, see this in the woods. We found a lot of these. Old time. There's three of them. With the tree growing through it. Old time heater things. I've seen that some people actually hang them on their wall. If you want one, let me know. I'll send it to you. I'll come dig it up. Send it to you. One last thing in my yard. Back here was where the barn was, where it caught fire. You can see how everything's melted. Here's one piece, and then there's some more. Can't really. I'm telling what was inside that barn either. Wow, that's a lot of mess. But there's a slab there. I know there is. But I've cleaned it off. I don't know how big it is. Also a so I don't know what kind of shop he had here. But if this area would really get cleaned up, this would be a nice area to have to do something in. So this summer we plan on getting some more done. I can't promise you how much, but I'll bring you along with it as we go. Well, guys, thank you for watching. I'm sorry that this was so long. And it flipped around all kind of different things, gardening and walking around the property. Um, but I appreciate you guys checking it out. And um, hope to see you again. And on that note, from me and my beautiful daughter, Miley, we'll talk to you guys later.